Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another video and welcome to another Forza Horizon 3 demo. Is Would there? Like no, I don't, Anna. I want to talk to my audience. Welcome everybody to another video. Today I have the Thrustmaster wheel cam attached to the game. Yes, you can actually play the demo with the wheel as you can see right here. So, what I wanted to do is hop on this game because I still haven't tried the wheel on this game and I realized that you can actually play with the wheel on Forza Horizon 3. So I thought I'd give it a go and pretty much share my thoughts and opinions and what do I think of this game with the wheel. So first of all, my first impressions were like, this is pretty much the exact same as Horizon 2. I honestly don't feel any like crazy difference with the wheel. So I have all the assists turned off. I still feel like it's just as easy and just as, like, I just feel like the physics are the exact same with the wheel when uh, when I play this game, like, very, very much the same as, uh, as Horizon 2. It's not very difficult to use the wheel on this game. It's a lot more difficult to use the wheel on, on Forza 6, let me tell you that. And I honestly didn't like using it. It's just, it just felt really weird using the wheel. Also, off-roading in this game with the wheel is really, really cool. There's a lot of feedback. There's a lot of feedback that goes into the wheel. Holy shit. Still, still not, like, you still see the force feedback come in, right? It's still sort of, sort of like Forza-ish. It's, it's a little bit delayed, but it's still, like, it comes in, you know, like, it, it still pulls you back, but I have mine set to kind of low, um, but uh, that's sort of just my preference. But I can still feel it, like, pulling the wheel back and stuff like that, so that's... That's still something that I have on. It's just, it's it's kind of low for me the way it is right now. Same with the vibration. I don't like my whole desk to vibrate just because I'm I'm in a muscle car. <laughs> I just rev the thing um, because I've had that before. I think the very first time when I got the wheel, I didn't change any of the settings and I just started playing. Um, I think it was like Horizon 2. Was it Horizon 2 or Forza 6? I can't remember which one it was. But I started playing one of the games with the wheel and my whole desk was vibrating like mad. And I recorded a video with it and I didn't realize how badly it was like coming through in the mic, all I heard was in the fucking desk, and I was just, or in the mic, and I was just fucking crazy. So, pretty much, oh, this is like a, one of those drift zones. This is a super balanced car, by the way, so I'm trying to slide, I'm trying to slide something that's, that's kind of built not to slide, which is weird to say because I'm in a Mustang, but this is a 350R. And this thing was built for the track, like this was... Oh god damn it, Fiesta! This was pretty much built just so it can handle like really, really well, so... It does, it does actually handle very well. I prefer... See, I... It's so difficult to try and get this thing to slide. I mean, to keep a slide with it, because it's super, super balanced. I'll change the view real quick here. I feel like I can play a lot better with this view. Uh, my wheel rotation right now, I think it's set to 600. I brought it down to 600. I don't like playing this game, or Forza 6, or Horizon 2 on 900. Um, I just feel like... Yeah, I, I just don't feel like I like playing at 900 on, on Forza. Why are you on the opposite side of the road? Now, like I've said before, the Forza Horizon series aren't simulator games. So that's why I think the uh, the driving physics are kind of easy with the wheel. Like, it's very, very easy to control a car when you're driving. It just, it feels like it's a little bit too easy. I don't know. I honestly feel like the the, the one of the easiest games that I, I could control with the wheel is a set of Corsa. And that's like, that's a that's probably a full-on simulator. Like, I can say that. And uh, I have it on the PC, so I have a lot of different, like, like stuff done to the wheel and to the setup in-game as well to the wheel. So, pretty much... I can get that game to be just how I want it with the wheel. Like, I feel like this one has a little bit of a delay. I don't know why that is, though. Like, it's very, very minimal, but, like, it feels like when I do this, right, I just feel... I love how that screen just shook like crazy. But when I do this, right, it just feels like I'm not really connected to the wheels of the car. And that's not just Forza Horizon 3. That's with every single Forza game. Um, and that's that's something that I feel like I am connected to the wheels on on a set of Corsa You know what I mean? So it just feels like it's a little bit delayed That's why I, I kind of don't like driving with the wheel on Forza games too much. I Don't know for people that have played both games like a set of Corsa and Forza You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about like it just feels like I'm not really connected to the wheels 
of the car when I'm using the, the steering wheel. You get me? I know that there's people that do a really, really good job. Like, look at this. Like, I feel like there's a there's a big massive delay whenever I'm, like, steering. That's why I kind of like driving in this perspective here, because I kind of feel like I'm moving the wheel, even though, like, it's still pretty much the same. But it just feels like I'm a little bit more in control, but not really. Then again, I'm not really used to driving the wheel in, in Forza, but for some reason, the set of course, I could just, like, hop on and, and slide like crazy, so... Yeah, I guess that's that's that. But yeah, Forza with the wheel. Um, it's easy. It's easy to play with the wheel. If you take your time and practice and do all that sort of stuff, you can definitely drive as well as I am right now. I am completely awful, by the way. That's why I'm making that joke. But uh, the throttle response and all that sort of stuff, on especially on this car, it's fucking crazy. Like, this thing was literally built for the track. Like, it's... This isn't a car that was made to do anything like this. And it's handling off-roading pretty well. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just randomly taking cars off-roading with the wheel, but fuck it. I should really fix my windscreen, but I'm gonna bother. Let's go this way, because we have the freedom. Oh my god. Okay. Well. Uh, I don't know what the hell we just did. We lost our wing. Freedom! <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I, I just love doing that. Like, there's no boundaries to this game right now, which is fucking great. So yeah, pretty much Forza with the wheel is exactly... Whoa, I feel like it's exactly like Horizon 2. I, I honestly feel like there's no difference between this game and Horizon 2 with the wheel. Um... It feels the exact same when I'm playing it. I set my control, or sorry, my, my steering wheel click controls to be pretty much the same as Horizon 2 and it, the cars handle the same. There's nothing really else I can I can say about that. Um, but yeah, keep that in mind if you want to get this game to play specifically with the wheel. Uh, but again, you'll get used to it if you continue to play it. Like it just got, pretty much like you get used to everything. You get the game, you get used to it. You, you'll, you'll end up enjoying it anyway. But I'll definitely play some more uh, of the full game with the wheel, but for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video, and I have to go to work again because I can't sit at home and play this game all day. Also, this is a beta or like a demo, so I can't really do much in the in the demo anyway. So I just have to wait for the full game to come out. But still. It's kind of annoying that I have to go to work <laughs> instead of stay home and just play video games all day. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys again for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.